Hello, my name is Veronica Alvarez. I am USA Baseball's women's national team head coach. I also coach with the Oakland A's during spring training. I got started in baseball when I was five years old. I always say I was born to play the game. Uh, I got on the field the moment I could and was my brother's back girl, never wanted to leave the field, wanted to keep practicing uh, with his team until I got my own. So I played from five to about 10 years old. And then at 10, I was convinced to switch over to softball. I talk about it like softball pulled me in instead of baseball pushing me out, because that's what I feel. Uh, they convinced me that I'd be playing softball in junior high so I didn't want to be playing two different sports so I should just do a full switch so they got me there uh, but it was a good experience I got to play uh, college softball at Villanova University and then after college I got to play a summer of softball in Spain with my best friend from college uh, we traveled all around Spain uh, playing we won the the Spanish Cup that year which was their first year so it was very cool and then we played in the Euro Cup in Italy as well uh, when that was over, I came back to Miami. I started working at the public school system. I needed an outlet for the sport. I absolutely love it. So passionate about it as a player and a coach. Um, so I started Googling and I came across uh, USA Baseball's women's national team by Googling the Colorado Silver Bullets, uh, which was an all women's professional team that played in the 90s. Uh, I saw one game when I was about 10 years old and I will never forget it. I finally got to see women uh, that loved this game just as much as me and that were getting to play it at a high level. So I appreciate them on so many levels and I love that that game was on TV that day because I will never forget it. But I Googled them and I found USA Baseball's women's national team. They had just finished playing the 2006 World Cup. So they told me they would let me know when the next one was. And sure enough, two years later, uh, I was sent an email about a trial in Kenosha, Wisconsin. And that that decision to go to that trial is uh, the fork in the road that led me to where I am today. I played uh, in the 2008 World Cup in Japan. In 2010, we went to Venezuela. In 2012, in Canada. Uh, and then I didn't play in the 2014 World Cup because I became a firefighter paramedic, uh, which I currently still am and I had to report for my first day of work uh, the same time I would be traveling out for the women's team. So I had to make a hard decision there, but uh, it worked out. I got to go back and play with the women's team in 2015 for the Pan American Games. It was our first time in a multi-sport event uh, and it was incredible. Uh, as, a, as a young girl, I dreamt about being an Olympian as I feel like most female athletes have. Uh, specifically female athletes, I'm sure males have as well, but um, that's the highest stage at, for most of the sports. Uh, so to be able to live in Athlete Village amongst the elite of other sports uh, was indescribable. I can't even put words to it, but um, it was so cool to see them warming up, getting ready to go out and compete, watching them go out. I remember seeing a cyclist with their bike going out to there to compete and then watching them come back with a medal. Uh, so an all around incredible experience leading up to it, during it. And then we won the, the, we won the Pan American Games, won a gold medal. So that just was the, the icing on the cake. Um, a shame, shame that it no longer is um, an event that has women's baseball. So I hope that that changes and we can have it in the future. But incredible experience, probably one of the top experiences in my baseball life. So really loved it. Um, since then, I, I got injured in 2015 and I knew that I'd have to do more than just a, a you know, physical therapy recovery. I'd have to have surgery and I wasn't willing to, but I knew once I stopped playing that I would go all into coaching um, and that I did. So it was hard first to, to accept that I would no longer be able to get to play, uh, though I was grateful that I got to play till I was 32 years old. Uh, I understand that most people don't. So I, I love that I got to, uh, but still uh, an emotional process to get over. But I was, I felt like I was able to turn a page and go all into coaching. I felt like that's how I was going to be my best self for my future players. So um, that's what I had to do. But since then, I've taken all the opportunities possible to coach and to get my, you know, dive into the the pool of coaching and and learn new ways to say the same thing uh obviously continue learning about the game it's a game that you can learn forever um 
So I've just taken opportunities with MLB has hosted girls camps called the Trailblazer Series, the Breakthrough Series, uh, some of my favorite events to get to work. Uh, and then USA Baseball, any event that they have me, I will go. So my job as a firefighter paramedic held me back from playing in the 2014 World Cup, but it has allowed me to take these opportunities in coaching. And so I, I, I will take that if that's what I had to do. Um, I was a staff on staff in 2018 for the women's national team, and then I've been managing since 2019. We played a Pan American qualifier and we're very successful. Uh, and we hope that after COVID, we get to get back on the field and compete for the World Cup medal. So um, I probably mentioned one of my good moments in, in baseball, which was the Pan American Games. On the coaching side, I would say managing that 2019 team was probably um, one of my favorite things about coaching. Uh, the players made such wonderful adjustments from the year before, from two weeks before. Uh, they really bought into the team mentality, really were there to support each other. And it was, it was uh, the effects of that were seen on field and, and from the outcome. So it was a very, it was an honor to be their coach in those moments. Uh, and then I'd have to also add just being able to coach with the Oakland A's at spring training. I feel that that makes me uh, a better coach for the women. So uh, that first opportunity, amazing. But every single time I've come, it feels uh, just as wonderful to walk in and see my jersey in the locker room and just be able to, you know, be amongst these baseball minds and just get to learn every day. Um, some of the things I feel like as a female in baseball, a girl in baseball, we've faced um, people, you know, making comments or just like being that only girl in amongst boys and just standing out at all times. Um, I feel like I've, you know, the difficult part has happened since I was five years old. So I don't even remember the bad things or the, the the difficulties that I've faced by being a female in baseball. Uh, I've just kind of built resistance since I was young and unfortunate that I'd have to and that girls still have to, but uh, still feel that it has made me stronger and it has allowed me to face those same issues as an adult, but all in, right, with, without letting it affect me. So. Um, I, I feel like the support of my family really helped me when I was young. I am a first generation American born Cuban. My parents are both born in Cuba. I was raised in Miami, which is very Hispanic uh, and I'm surrounded by the culture. Uh, so I very much feel Cuban, even though I acknowledge the uh, the differences of between me and somebody that was actually born in Cuba. But I, I really do feel connected to my culture and with that, I really love to acknowledge my parents and um, how they supported me, right? And typical in the Latin culture is that uh, there are very defined gender roles and girls aren't necessarily playing sports. Um, but my parents never really let that affect them. They were my biggest supporters since day one and they still are. And just the fact that they, I knew that their support was there, whether I failed or I succeeded, um, that allowed me to push the boundaries and push forward and try to see how much I could accomplish. So having them in my corner has been big. Uh, and I say that not only because they need the credit, but just so that it is shown how important support is. Um, especially in, in a culture where it's, it's not usually, uh, it's not the norm where, you know, girls get to go out and accomplish anything really. There was never put a limit put on me. So I have appreciated them every day. Hopefully as a little girl, I did too, but it, I'm trying to make up for it if I didn't now. So um, very important. And that probably comes with the issues that I face as being a, a a little Latin girl wanting to do these typically boy things. Um, so those were those comments were mixed in as well that I'm sure have helped me build resistance uh, to them. Some of my hopes and dreams uh, for and goals for for myself and for others is I for the sport. I hope that I can continue being um, 
somebody that opens doors or that has create creates opportunities for younger generations to have a place within the game. Uh, that's really my why. I want to do these things so that I can create those those moments and those opportunities for girls or just to open their minds that these things are possible and that there's a place for them here. Um, when I was young, I didn't have somebody in this role of coaching and within professional baseball, so I didn't even consider it. Um, and so I just, you know, the importance of of uh, visibility and and seeing these images and, and what it does to younger generations. So I just want to be, you know, do my part in being that person that uh, might open a mind or open an opportunity for somebody else. Uh, with that, I hope that for the for the women's and the girls baseball, I hope that we are an Olympic sport one day. That's my big goal for, for the women's uh, team. Obviously with that, the Pan American Games would be great. Uh, but I also hope there's some U20 events, U18 events, just to create opportunities for younger girls, uh, create a futures team if of sorts, um, so that we keep this uh, growth of the game going. Um, I, I am a big goal setter. I am an advocate for setting goals, writing them down, and then seeing what we have to do to accomplish them. Uh, so that is a big one for me. The Olympics, a U20 team, U18 team, 18 team, uh, just more opportunities for girls to stay in the game and continue playing. I probably could go on forever, so I look forward to talking to uh, more about baseball, more about my journey and my hope for the future uh, in our panel. So thank you very much for having me.